It is day three of emptying my bank account for some Minecraft pixelated items. Yesterday, we went into our first ever dungeon run and got completely annihilated, which is not too surprising considering we are wearing a tux that sets my HP to 250. So yeah, not ideal. But before I started looking into what armor set I wanted to replace my tux with, I first used all my leftover gems from yesterday to buy 12 more cookies and replenish the purse a little bit. Anyways, um... I'm thinking that our best bet to get through dungeons solo, if you know that if that's the way we're doing it, if we're saying I, I have to be able to solo complete a dungeon run, we're gonna need like an actual decent armor set for that. And so I'm thinking that superior dragon armor is probably gonna be pretty nice, especially for those early floors. Um, and all we need to be able to use it is combat skill 20. Since I was still only combat 15 though, I decided to try out a method suggested by this comment where we grind skills using jerry boxes. So I spent just under 25 million coins on a stack of purple jerry boxes and headed back to my island to open them. My average skill level at the moment is 8.6. So definitely on the lower end. So uh, let's open the stack of purple jerry box and see where it gets us. Okay, starting off 150,000 coins. As it turns out though, jerry boxes actually don't give you combat XP. So while I did gain a couple foraging and farming levels, I for the most part just lost about 20 million coins for no reason. Let's see if my damage went up at all. Wait, 120. Wait, why does that actually seem like it's a lot better? I swear last episode I was like, I was capping out like at 117, 118. It's not, you're just coping? I, I don't know. I think this might have actually helped. Oh my God, All the skill average all the way up to 10.7. We got like two average skill levels. Totally worth, totally worth. Honestly, could have been worse. No, actually, it, it really couldn't have been worse. It, it, it actually it actually couldn't have been worse. Yeah, that, that was a massive waste of money. We're probably not gonna do that again. The fact that I only got like five foraging levels and my foraging was that low, that's uh yeah that's not good so with the jerry boxes literally not helping us out at all with our goal of getting to combat 20 i decided to try out a new combat xp method so i made my way over to the auction house and dropped a whopping 40 million coins on this mythic enderman pet that gives a 40 percent combat xp boost from enderman we're probably gonna need to buy some more cookies soon though we are down to 5 million coins in the purse which is not ideal cool let's see how long it takes me to get uh to get combat 20 now we're currently combat 15 about to hit combat at 16 but after only a couple minutes of farming enderman i was already quickly getting bored of doing it because even though this method wasn't terrible it also definitely was not as fast as i had hoped it would be so at the recommendation of my chat i decided that we wouldn't go for superior armor just quite yet and instead settle for strong dragon armor which would only require combat 16. i'll need a dungeonized version for it to be good let's get a ch the cheapest five star dungeonized one which i believe is this one all right, there we go. Strong dragon leggings. 2.3 mil. Wait, how much money do we have left? Wait, we have 1.3 mil left. Will it be enough? Or am I about to have to go swipe the credit card? <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. So I made my way back to store.highpixel.net and purchased another $100 worth of gems. Which of course means it's the time of the video where I remind you that if you want to support this degenerate content, please consider using code RAGETRAIN on the Hypixel store. Am I out of gems already? Man, bro, I'm getting way too used to spending like four to $500 on, ge on gems each time. Cause that, that, that felt like it went by way too quick. Okay, we ended up with 144 million coins. I think that should be good for us. How do I check my fame rank? I have almost 30 million fame. Oh my God. And this is the third day of playing the profile. This is like hour five of the profile. Okay, anyways, um, we need to get my strong dragon boots. Five star fierce. Sure, 2.5 mil. I think, I'm, I think I'm overpaying a little bit. I just can't be asked to look through, through that many more more pairs of them so we're taking these ones okay so overall i don't think that i don't think too expensive there damage test well i'm gonna be honest i don't know if our damage test outside of dungeons can be that good although we do have a little bit more coins for our emblade now we'll give it a test let's figure it out oh recom it we do need to recom it that's a good point um 110k yeah i mean the, the, the tux is still higher damage but honestly not bad okay and I then proceeded to spend 40 million coins recomming and hot potato booking those three pieces of strong dragon armor before realizing that I now had another pretty big problem on my hand. Wait, it's not dungeonized, but it's starred. It needs to say dungeon? Oh, wait, these are f the these five stars are non-dungeon stars. Yeah, it turned out the tarantula helm that I had already invested like 15 to 20 million coins into 
was not a dungeon item, which was a problem because I had no essence. It only required 30 spider essence to dungeonize though, so I eventually came to the deal with my chat that I could pay someone 1 million coins to dungeonize it for me, since that was like way overpaying anyway. If we get scammed, I guess that's just the reality of Skyblock there. <laughs> Uh, oh, I, I, th I thought he just left for a second. I thought he just left, but the grandma wolf is still there. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Did he dungeonize it? Okay, legendary dungeon helmet. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, and there we go. This is like, <laughs> th th this has turned what should be like a 5 million coin set into like a hundred million coin set. So hopefully, hopefully this doesn't go too bad. And with that, I began my second attempt at soloing the dungeon's entrance floor. Let's do it. Let's figure out what's happening. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm going berserk, Ron berserk, right? Okay. All right, we got this, we got this. If I get one shot immediately, you guys. Oh, sweet. So far, so good, maybe. So far, so good. This is not that easy. This is not that easy. We're not doing too much damage, but I didn't take too much damage there either. Okay, I need, I need to get a reforce that gives mana or something. I have literally zero mana. Okay. Honestly, the damage isn't terrible to like, to these mobs are doing like 100k for being literally cat of zero. I feel like that's not that bad. You're also using an ender dragon pet. True. I do have a legendary ender dragon pet that might be boosting things in my favor a small amount. So entrance, have to say, pretty easy. Assuming blood goes fine here. Okay. Wait, wait, the right click on the FOT is so OP, I can literally just train them. They actually do a lot of damage though. There's actually potential to throw here, there's actually, wait, there's actually potential to throw. Oh my god, wait, I need more mana. I need more mana, wait, I gotta stop right clicking for a second. Oh my god, okay, wait, my damage is so low. Okay, last one, boom. We got it, we got it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, entrance completed. Hey, it's a C. But we passed. It counts, baby. That counts. New record, 4 minutes and 40 seconds. And honestly, that's probably the most excited anyone has ever been to get a C on the dungeon entrance floor. So, interesting moment for sure. Before moving on to floor 1 though, I wanted to make some upgrades to my gear. And the first thing I did was purchase a new Flower of Truth, since the one I was currently using wasn't 5 starred. And then, at the suggestion of my chat, I did something pretty stupid when I went to the Dwarven Mines and applied Perfect Jaspers to all of my Strong Dragon Armor and my Flower of Truth. I also purchased a couple of healing items off of the Auction House, just in case I needed them for the boss fight. But then, it was time to get into my first floor 1. Yeah, let, let, I, I'm gonna rock with Tank. I'm gonna rock with Tank, okay? The, the Believers want me to go Tank. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Let's see how this goes. Okay, remember, it's just completion. We don't need, like, any particular score or whatever. It's just a matter of completing it. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay, this is a, this is a first mini boss, I think, right? This will be the first test here. Okay, Castle of Stone. Oh, we got this. We got this. We got this. Oh, nah, doubters, you're in trouble. I think we've got this. I think we've got this. That was a little bit too easy. Nah, I mean, our, our damage is definitely low, but with any sort of healing, we're good on these ones too. Okay, come on. It, it's gonna be a lot of HP for me to work through maybe though. Oh no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Castle of Stone there. Let's go! Let's go, floor one done, we did it baby. Too easy, all right. Entrance and floor one. We actually just like wiped through those. Imagine we get some loot. Imagine we get some loot. <laughs> Combo one. Oh, well, you know, maybe I'll need the wither essence eventually. So we'll get my free chest. <laughs> we'll get the free chest at least. And honestly, I was pretty satisfied with that being my progress for the day because I thought floor two was just going to be way too much of a step up for me. But somehow my Twitch chat peer pressured me into trying. Before hopping into my first floor two though, there was a little bit of a dilemma we needed to solve. Wait, can I use higher level dungeon potions? Can you buy us on the AH? Oh, they have to be bid? Unless I want to wait five hours for this auction to end. We'll just, go, we'll just go with what we can get then. We'll just go with what we can get. But for viewers of the episodes, should I allow it so that other people can sell me like higher tier dungeon potions from chat or something since we'd have to do a bid on the auction now so we would like probably never get them should we allow people in chat to sell me them for like some sort of price for now i won't allow it just so we don't feel like we're cheating at all and i'll just go with the dungeon 2 potion okay we'll let the viewers on youtube decide okay i did end up buying both a regular bonzo mask and a frag bonzo mask off of the auction house though because in my most recent iron man adventure we found out that that's a way to basically have three lives in one single dungeon run which is a pretty big advantage with all of that now sorted out though it was time to attempt my first solo floor two 
I feel like tank worked out really well for us in floor one. I feel like we stay tank again, right? Okay, let's see. Let's see how difficult the angry archaeologist is here. Uh, wait, not not too bad actually. I don't think. Oh no, he dropped down. That's not good. Uh oh, that's not good. Come on, we got this. We got this. Okay, I I actually am taking some damage though. And then the believers in the chat convinced me to go for as many blessings as possible. That way I could have much higher health and damage, which was definitely a good idea, but it made the dungeon run take a lot longer than it probably should have. But finally, like 16 minutes later, I was heading into the boss room. Watch all this work and he dies. To be fair, yeah, if I die, it will be a bit sad. 15 minutes of preparation. Okay, target priest. Wait, which one's priest? Oh no, oh no. Okay, I got priest, I got priest, I got priest. Warrior's dead, warrior's dead. Oh no, oh no. Okay, that guy's dead. Regain HP. Yeah, find the priest. I'll bring him over to the priest. Okay, we, we, we want to farm the priest as soon as it comes back alive again, right? Let's go for it. Oh no, oh no, wait, this could be bad. Oh no, wait. Bonzo Mask 1 popped! Oh no. I don't have enough damage! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, castle! True, true, true! Come on! Come on, come on! So close! No! Oh my god! Oh my god. 18 minutes and 55 seconds for that. Clearly, I had some work to do yet again.